Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, I've gone to GTA and I just get to stare at my character in the midst of washing himself. Yeah. I love how uh, my fly hair doesn't get messed up whatsoever, though, even though I'm showering it. That's how fly it is. I should use a uh, shampoo and hairspray that's completely water repellent. So I'm able to take showers and keep my hair super fly. What is going on, guys? My name is Halvi, and check it out, it actually kind of looks like me. It's pretty awesome considering most in-game characters can't look a single thing like the person they actually represent. But, you know, I may have added a little bit more masculinity. I guess just because that wasn't really an option. They just assume all men are equally buff. Which, hey, you know, that works, I suppose. But yeah, so... I'm excited because I actually got GTA 5 on PC the day that it came out. I preloaded and everything, but I had a crap ton of problems. I played this game for about, I had saw like, you know, throughout that night about four or five hours of play time on it. And randomly, at one point, completely randomly, at one point in time, I tried to go back in and it just decided to not work. I looked online and it seemed like a lot of people actually had this problems amongst other problems um, with starting GTA, but I would click on GTA I were doing it. and I would try to load the game and it would do a little spinny ring thing and then it would be done, like the, it, nothing would happen, nothing would show up and that happened over and over again. I tried troubleshooting like crazy. I even went to the trouble of reinstalling the whole dang game. Nothing worked. So I was just pissed, and so then I decided to just get on and just try to figure some stuff out again on my own. I knew the forums wouldn't be helpful because no one was figuring it out. And I went into my system security settings and checked the uh, something or other, I don't remember, what it allowed and stuff. And somewhere between me playing for five hours and then me not doing anything and then it playing again, uh, the one out, there's like two versions of the GTA that have uh, the system allowing, I guess, broadcast or whatever the heck it is. And one of them got checked off, only one, which was allowing on private servers. Like, it was allowed on public, but not private. So I checked that back on, and it works like a charm. What do you know? I, I didn't even, when I did it, even though I'd been, like, two days since I was able to play, I wasn't even that excited. I was just pissed that it was that simple of a solution. And I didn't have to go through all the hassle and trouble that I did. But, yeah. So this is my crib. I use it thanks to the good old money that GTA brought me. Or Rockstar gave me for obviously all of the stupid problems from the very beginning or for pre-ordering I guess 500 grand plus 300 grand for something else and then uh, I also you know well we'll see I guess if I end up buying another one of these stinking houses for more GTA startup problems like they have I don't know you think that Rockstar would get it right after so many times of them messing up with the uh, the beginnings of things but whatever now I'm playing, now it works, so I figured what I would do is go ahead and just take this to show you guys around a little bit. I'll show you my g Raj and the, the uh, vehicles I've managed to accrue, and um, yeah, I've, I'm pretty stoked because I've done more on this in like just a couple days of playing than I ever did on the Xbox GTA version. So this is my g Raj, um, and funny enough, I've actually got a couple really rare cars in here. Uh, let's see, let's go down the line. Okay, so this car at the very end, this one right here. Right here is the Buffalo Sport car. Uh, this is the first car that I got when you have to finish the tutorial and then go pick out a car. I picked this one and I was pretty happy with it. It looks kind of nice, badass. And then I added the sweet rims because everything was for free. So I added the sweet rims, nice paint job, some of the side things. I don't know what anything's called, the back tail fender, whatever. Um, and then I actually added some low lights, some orange low lights on them all around him which is fantastic then I figured okay I should definitely get a motorcycle because I actually drive a motorcycle and I picked the one that looked the most like the motorcycle I have and this is it this is actually really close to what my motorcycle looks like and I got it with white my motorcycle doesn't have orange but I decided to add on there because I love that color and love that thing uh, but yeah I haven't really done much on it yet because I've been trying to level up my other cars so I found this one and this one I found and I just decided to keep it because it was worth a lot of money and so I figured why not keep it because it's a luxury vehicle and I could just steal it and keep it rather than have to buy it later so yeah and then um, me and Cameron got on and we he had, he had recently when I was unable to play he got this car this is the Phoenix and this is a car you cannot purchase and it is very difficult to find it's a rare vehicle supposedly and it took a little while for us to both both to find it um, and I ended up, well it's a funny story, I'll talk with the first one first. 
so this is my main one what's so what's so cool about this car is I don't have it yet but this back tail thing you can um, get a get it custom where it has one that's like really really high like uh, I can't okay where my head is now that's about how high up it goes um, it's really sick looking and just as badass I'm gonna take that one out here soon so I can show you guys how souped up it is and whatnot and this one and so I found that when I was looking around for it for ages and then I ended up deciding, oh, whatever, I'll just find it later. Like, I'm not in a rush to get it. I'll just find a different muscle car. So I got it. I, 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 was, I was driving away, and then I managed to just stop, and then this thing pulled up right next to me. And I was like, wait, is that it? And it was. And right as it pulled up, some other dude, random, pulled up. And I think he was probably going for it, too. I don't know. So then I just ran, got in it as he was shooting at me, ran away. I had Cameron run over and enable passive mode. And then I got it, and the rest is history. So that was pretty sick, and I've souped it up quite nicely, as much as I could with the level that I was at. But it, it's looking really nice. Um, and then as I was leaving the, the shop with that one, another one pulled up right next to me. Like, I don't know what the odds are of that, but I was, I was really stoked. So I just kept both of them because, you know, legendary rare cars, why not? Uh, this one is a cool one that I found. I don't know if it's rare or anything like that, but I just thought it was awesome. It's kind of like the Camaro or the uh, Char Dodge Charger in real life. Uh, this one is a Ocelot, and it's just a nice sport or a was it coupe sport coupe? I don't know. Anyways, it's a nice car that you could trade in for free, so I didn't buy that one. This is the vehicle that apparently I don't know. I don't know why I have this vehicle actually. I honestly have no idea why that's even in here. This one, though, is one that I found uh, when trying to get those two over there. This is one that I found, and or Cameron actually found it for me. And uh, he saw it. I just thought it looked kind of normal, but he's like, I think this one's rare, too. And he looked online, and it was. So I grabbed this one first and then put that cool little muzzle thing on it. And it was so, I, you know, I guess because it's rare. I don't actually like it that much, but just because it's rare, I feel like I have to get it. So then the vehicle of the day. I spent 200 grand on this baby. It's the Jester. It's super cool, uh, great color scheme and all, and I just love it because it looks like it's smiling at me. So I can just say, you know, I'm having a bad day, and I go up to this car, and oh, it's okay, it comforts me, it's my comfort car. And it also goes really freaking fast. I, got, I bought the turbo on it, so it's maxed out at acceleration. It's got the nice tail wing. Um, I know I'm slaughtering the words for what they actually are. But yeah, so that's that. And uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, that explains most of them. So I figure I'll go out. One of the things, I want to show you the, gest, the jester, but I want to show you this first. So this is tight because, what well, mainly because I love, what I love about the muscle cars is that it sounds so damn sexy. Like this thing revving up is just ridiculous. We'll see if you can hear it. Listen to this. Oh man. It's just so tight. Oh, I love it. Super cool burnouts with this thing. And as you see, I got the orange low lights on it, so it's just that much more pimping. Uh, this thing is badass. I leveled it up too. I got some turbo on that, so it revs pretty fast, or accelerates pretty fast, I mean. Um, but yeah, I like it. What is that car? I kind of like how that looks. I don't know what it is, though. We'll go check it out. Oh, that's the one that I got. Yeah, that's the one that's in the, in the garage that I don't think I knew what I had it for. But yeah, so I just want to show you this one because it looks nice and it sounds nicer. Uh, that's I pretty much just ride this thing to hear how it sounds. But I'll show you guys the uh, jib jib jib. I keep on calling it like the Jetspur, the Jetspur, the Jester. I'll show you guys the Jester because this is my definitely most invested in sports car. I spent 200 grand to buy it, and then I spent another about 100 grand to soup it up real nicely. All right, go and get in that car. And then I have plans to soup it up even more, but of course I'm just a little new low level, so I actually didn't even transfer my other character because I wanted to start fresh. So I got lilies on that, but they're white. And this thing just goes. It goes hard. Oh, here I can show you guys the interior. I'm absolute crap driving like this, and I don't feel there's really any need to. Uh, because it just makes everything ten times harder, especially on the PC because you're using I saved it. I saved it. I don't want to scratch this thing right now. So, oh! Okay, that popped out of nowhere. So, yeah, I just figured I would make this video to show you guys I got GTA 5 on PC. Tell you that I fixed it for those of you that knew that I had problems with it before. And otherwise, now you guys know what my awesome G-Raj is like. And uh, the cool swag vehicles that I have within it. And we'll go in there. Oh, good. I thought I was going to run into the thing. But, if you guys are interested in seeing some GTA videos, I 
kind of want to do some like funny moment stuff. I actually created a game with uh, that that I wanted to try out, and I played around with it with Cameron a little bit, and it's awesome. So we're, I'm definitely going to make some videos of that soon to show you guys. And uh, yeah, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. With that, stay beautiful. Have a fantastic freaking day. Get a nice bitch and selfie. And oh, hold on. I need to do my blow with my kisses. Oh, it's wave. Well, you can leave with wave. We'll see you later.